It's our favorite day of the year because it's day one of X Games Aspen 2019. And we kick off our four day extravaganza with one of our favorites, Special Olympics Unified Snowboarding. What's happening? Everybody, Brandon Graham alongside my partner, the pro, Craig McMorris, and of course, DC reporting live from the course. Craig, nothing better than kicking things off with this event. We'll see if that changes now with him getting on the blue course. Mike Schultz, of course, built and invented the Moto knee. BioAdapt, his company, as you see right there front and center that so many athletes use. And it's Lego again getting the early lead. <laughs> Watching Scotty Lego <laughs> snowboarding this race could be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Scotty Lego honestly doing a lot of X Games so Yeah, it's a pump party yeah. with Scotty Lego. It is, it really is. But Schultz making it interesting there at the end. As you see, both coming in sub 17. <laughs> I think he's seen. Oh, I'm skipping a jump. I'm going to figure this thing out, boys. He's not track and field here. Triple jump. But that adaptive being get a great look at it, Mike Schultz. That is responsible as well, obviously, as his mentality to the most adaptive X Games medal any athlete has ever gotten yeah. by Schultz. So we move on to their teammates. Carson Geiger, who's paired up with Scotty James, going against our defending gold medalist, Henry Meese. One of the coolest things about the Special Olympics is almost all of these athletes compete in different sports. Henry Meese, weightlifting, and as you saw with Carson, he also competes in, it was basketball or baseball, I just missed that. Yep, recently moved to Idaho. So here we go. Neck and neck, but Meese takes the lead. So Scotty James was on that red course, but he beat Chris Clue, who's on the blue course. And we were assuming that the blue course was running faster. Oh, wow. And this one, it looks like it really is. So Henry Meese taking care of business, trying to help out his teammate, Chris Clue. There you have it. And the results are in. Chris Klug and Henry Meese defending their gold medal. They had to come back and grab it. They were in second place heading into the final heat crate. After run one. And I mean, Lego and Guantraperi, they were they were looking so solid. But Meese, Klug, winning pedigree, they come correct yet again. And Schultz and Purdue rounding out our top three. And there we see the gold medals. Familiar space for Henry and Chris. Well, let's head down to DC, who's with our defending gold medalist. Thank you very much, guys. Hanging out down here with our defending gold medalist on the top spot again. Congratulations, Henry and Chris. Chris, can you talk about your recipe for success defending the gold medal? You guys are just so dominant. I don't know about that. Scotty gave me a good whooping on the first run. I said, boy, I better pick it up for my partner Henry here on the second run. So he had two solid runs and inspired me to go faster on the second run. Now, Henry, five of six gold medals now here at X Games. Can you talk about this experience out here at X Games? I was pretty stoked, and I, I was surprised they came back to us again. Well, you guys earned it. Congratulations. And one more time, let's hear it for your gold medalists, Chris Klug and Henry Meese. before transitioning to snowboard. You wouldn't know it, though. No. So, so good. Solid. So solid. Every single year he's been here. 